I am with Mr. S. Rangarajan, CEO of Data Patterns at Aero India Show. Let me start by asking Mr. Rangarajan to give us an overview of Data Patterns. Data Patterns is a 100% Indian owned company. We've been in defense and aerospace for nearly three decades now. We worked with uh, ISRO initially. Now extensively, last two year, 20 years, we've been working with the RDO. We build across the plane platform electronic systems for space, air, land, water, and underwater. Uh, the last, uh, over the last 20 years, we've done number of systems for uh, uh, fighters, uh, rotary-wing helicopters, missiles, uh, UAVs, ground systems like BrahMos fire control system, and then radars, a number of such systems we've done. We have an infrastructure in uh, Chennai. Uh, we have about 670 people working with us, more than 300 engineers. We do across the spectrum electronics, that is from low-level analog to RF and microwave, the entire spectrum, including high voltage, is designed by us. And uh, what are the highlights of Aero India show for you? See, uh, the last few years, uh, there is a strong emphasis in Make in India. It's not a rhetoric. Government is serious. And we can see that from the policy directors and the way people are discussing with us. And being the homegrown company and having extensively worked in electronics now, there is a lot of opportunities opened up today. We've done the cockpit display for LCA. We've done the cockpit display for LUH, the IJT, uh, Chetak uh, upgrades. We've done a host of systems on the cockpit, the glass cockpit. Similarly, we've done uh, air version of the BrahMos missile, the land uh, fire control system for BrahMos. We've done our own radars, uh, full phased array radars, only company having designed and built radars in India, other than BEL and DRDO, but wholly designed done by us. Of course, all this came with DRDO, continuous development of DRDO, and we've done this. In the last two, three years, we find the emphasis on making India is very high. With the result, companies like ours are getting a large opportunity to scale from a subsystem vendor to a system vendor, to try and replace systems which is being imported. Not only that, provide design on developable state-of-the-art electronic systems comparable to anywhere in the world. Systems in both EW and radar is what we are now uh, concentrating on. So, which are future projects are you aiming for? You see, in 2014, we quoted against MOD tender to design this radar, the precision approach radar, against a tender. This is getting finalized. We expect the order in the next one or two months. So nine radars. We put a large infrastructure to manufacture the full radars in India, 100% designed here. Similarly, we've also developed a, a large portion of almost all the electronics of the LLTR Ashwini developed by uh, LRD DRDO. That radar is successfully accepted by Air Force. And if the transfer technology comes to us from DRDO, having been the largest supplier of electronics in this, then we will put up a greenfield facility in Chennai to manufacture state-of-the-art radar and EW platforms. Similarly, we've had detailed discussions with HAL to try and do avionics, which is presently being imported by them. Why don't we do an indigenous equivalent today's technology avionics? So we are in the process of generating a whole range of systems which can get replaced in our Indian aircrafts.